Hi and hello guys, uh, this is Vignesh here. In this video what we are going to see is uh, how to interface DHT11 sensor or DHT22 sensor with our Arduino board. We will actually use one library called DHT sensor library by Adafruit and uh, we will program our Arduino board from very scratch. Now let's get started. Now just uh, take a look at this image, uh, here you can see this is the actual DHT11 sensor. It is having four pinouts, the first pinout is VCC, the second pinout is data, the third pinout is no connection and fourth pinout is ground. If you buy as a module DHT11 or DHT22, they will provide only three pinouts. The first pinout is VCC, the second pinout is the data pin, the third pin which is nothing but the ground. Now just uh, take a look at the comparison between uh, DHT11 and uh, DHT22. Here you can see guys, uh, when it is comes to temperature range of uh, DHT11, it is actually from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. When it is comes to DHT22, it is actually measuring the value from minus 40 to 125 degrees Celsius. And also take a look at the humidity range of a DHT11. It is just about 20 to 80 percent. When it is comes to DHT22, it is actually from 0 to 100 percent. I won't uh, tell like uh, DHT11 is not having the capability to measure the humidity value more than 80 percent it is actually have that capability to measure the value more than 80 percent but when it is comes to the accuracy level it will be affected a lot okay here you can see the accuracy value is uh, quite lesser than the dht22 it is actually plus or minus five percent right it is not actually good when it is comes to dht22 two to five percent it will vary a lot and also take a look at the sampling rate dht11 will take reading every second but when it is comes to dht22 it will take two seconds for a reading okay and when it is comes to body size dht22 is quite bigger when it is comes to the operating voltage both are remains the same three to five volts and also when it is comes to that uh, maximum current uh, consumption during measuring, it was actually same, 2.5 milliamps. Now just uh, take a look at this image. Uh, here you can see this is actually the DHC sensor, right? When you buy a certain module, okay, you will actually see three pinouts. And one pin is actually get neglected, right? Which is nothing but a no connection pin. Okay, but no need to worry about that. These three pinouts are very important. The first pin is the positive of uh, the DHT11 or DHT22 sensor, where we have to give is to the five volt of Arduino Uno and then ground of the sensor to ground. And output of the pin, you can give anywhere, either from zero to 13 or from A0 to A5, no problem. In my case, what I have done is I have connected uh, this output pin with the A0 pin of our Arduino Uno. That's it. Now we will jump into the programming. First of all, what we are going to do is uh, we will install the DHT library. Go to tools, manage libraries. In library manager, you have to search for uh, DHT sensor library just uh, give you a quick search here you can see this is actually the dht sensor library and uh, for me it is actually installed for you guys uh, the installation option is uh, actually enabled you can just click and install okay if it is successfully installed you will uh, get a dialog like this installed okay after installation get completed, close this, 
go to files then to examples and here you can see this is actually the dht sensor library right we have currently installed but um, here they have provided uh, two examples now what i'm going to do is uh, we want to go and test this program we will program from the scratch now just take a look over here first of all what i'm going to do is i'm just going to include the dht sensor library hash include dht dot h this is actually the library that we have installed and uh, i just have given the headers over here now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create two macros the one macro is actually the pin number dht pin in my case uh, i have already told you right I'm actually using A0 pin of Arduino you know, to read the value from the DHT sensor. Now, next thing is uh, I'm just going to create another macro, this time DHT type. Guys, I am actually using uh, DHT11. So, I'm just going to provide DHT11 over here. At your case, uh, if you are using DHT22 means you can provide like this, no problem at all. In my case, I am actually using DHT11. Now what I am going to do is, uh, I am just going to create one object for the class DHT. Okay, actually inside this library, they will have lot of uh, classes, objects and methods. So in that, DHT is actually one of the class. This is actually the class. Okay. For that, I'm just going to create one object, dht. Here we have to pass two arguments. The first argument is the pin number. The second argument is the type of the dht sensor. So here what we have to give is a dht pin and then the dht type. In while setup, I'm just going to begin the serial communication. Here the argument is baud rate 9600 bits per second. It is actually the speed of the serial communication right now. Now what I am going to do is uh, I am just going to begin the DHT as well. For that purpose I am just going to call this method dht.begin. Now just come to the void loop. Here what we have to do is we have to create top two float variables. Float temperature. Now in this variable, I'm just going to store the value which is actually read from the DHT sensor. For the purpose, DHT dot read temperature. Now again, with what we are going to do is, I'm just going to create another float variable, float the humidity. And here you can see dht dot read humidity. All the computational process will happen in this library. Okay, so we are just going to use this uh, method. It have a written type of a float, so we have just written like this. That's it. Now what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to check whether the DHT sensor is properly connected to our Arduino board or not. For that purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to provide a snan function. Here the argument is the value that we are going to check. Okay, it will actually check whether the temperature is a perfect float value or not. Okay, and uh, we will provide a logical R over here is nan humidity if any of these things are failed to read properly then what we are going to do is i'm just going to print out the statement like dht failed to read kindly check out the connections
that's it okay now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to print out that uh, temperature and humidity value before that we have to provide written right so that is very important we have to return okay so now we will print out the temperature and then the humidity value i'm just going to use the string function string of uh, temperature yeah that's it i'm just going to print the humidity value as well that's it okay now we are going to provide a, a certain amount of delay yeah that's it guys now we will just compile and upload our program yeah done compile now we will uh, upload the program if you get the error in the compilation process uh, kindly take a look at the variables that you have declared and print out properly or not so that is very important after uploading successfully just open the serial monitor over here oh here you can see that the dht failed to read kindly check out the connections oh it is not actually connected properly i think now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to connect it properly yeah here you can see guys you can see the temperature and the humidity value that's it guys uh, that's all about uh, this video and uh, also i have uh, given the link for this code in my description box kindly check out that and uh, make use of it for more amazing videos kindly like and subscribe thank you